you're on ADHD medication and you don't know if the dosage is right. I'm Jonathan Murphy, psychiatric nurse practitioner, and today I'm breaking down for you the exact process I use with my patients to determine if their dosage is too low, too high, or just right. And stay to the end, because I'll explain when your problem has nothing to do with ADHD medication at all. You remember the story, Goldilocks. It's the same thing with your ADHD medication. It needs to be just right for your nervous system. That's why there's a dosing range. Adderall XR starts at 20 milligrams and maxes out at 40 milligrams. While Vyvanse, also known as Elvance, starts at 30 milligrams and maxes at 70. While Ritalin long acting and its various formulations typically start at 20 and max at 60. There's a lot of differences with methylphenidate, but these are just the standards. When patients ask me, am I on too high of a dose? It's relative. That's why there's a range. If you're in that range, it's normal for you. I only consider a dosage high if it's above the recommended standard dosage. I don't ever go there because it doesn't make much sense to. I would consider something relatively low, lower than the recommended adult dose or a pediatric dose. To properly follow up and assess the response and toleration of ADHD medication, I follow up after one month. Because I follow the recommended dosing guidelines, I'm fairly confident that there will be a response to the medication. So in most cases, a month gives patients enough time to really understand how the medication is working. I've always found that one month of daily medication administration is the perfect benchmark for assessing medication response. If someone's getting a good benefit after a month, it's a really good sign they're likely to continue experiencing the benefit from the same dosage every day for years. Here's the thing, not everybody has great insight. A common thing I hear with the medication is, I can't tell, but my wife sure can. So you're not always going to know. It's best to take it daily and try not to think about it too much. Assuming you've had an adequate trial of the medication, Here's some telltale signs that the dosage is too low. The duration is shorter than six hours. That's the biggest one. Tiredness during the day, sometimes a crash at the end of the day or in the afternoon. You're getting some benefit, but it's only partial. If you notice a diminished response or end of the day crash, during that first month, it's best to adjust timing to maintain consistency. That consistency is gold for me as a provider helping me understand how this medication is working over time. We don't want to keep shooting a moving target. Here's some signs that the dose is too high. Jaw tightness, agitation in the middle of the day, hyperfocus, but you're way too locked in and it's throwing things off balance. You're focusing on the wrong thing and you can't change gears. The come down, anxiety when it's wearing off, that's the telltale sign that the dose is too high. Changing medication or going down on the dosage tends to work but you may need to skip a day of the medication just to let it wash out of your system for a day or accept you're just gonna get a diminished response until your dopamine receptors get back to an equilibrium. It takes about a day or two. Just right is when everything is working. No ADHD symptoms. You can initiate tasks. You can follow through. You're organized enough to function. That's the goal. Functional improvement without the side effects. Sometimes the problem isn't the dosage at all extreme tiredness, fatigue, depressive symptoms, anxiety. These often come from what we move through in life, what we've been through. Sometimes ADHD medication makes us more aware and our mood isn't always going to be great, even with medication. We need healthy sources of stimulation to ensure dopamine regulation. You can't just stay stimulated by one thing indefinitely. If you're relying on one thing alone without varied stimulation sources, work, relationship, hobbies, physical activity, you're gonna hit a wall. ADHD medication creates the capacity to function, but you still need to engage with life in meaningful ways. So that's your Goldilocks guide to ADHD medication dosing. Too high, too low, or just right. And remember, sometimes the issue isn't the medication at all. It's what you're doing with the capacity your medication gives you. Thanks for joining Story Hour. Best of luck finding your Goldilocks Zone. If you'd like to watch a video about how to get an ADHD diagnosis, I got one for you right here. And go ahead and hit subscribe if you'd like to receive more practical tips from a nurse practitioner who won't sell you short.